Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I am going to show you Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex on the PCSX2 emulator. So there's two different ways of playing this that I recommend. There's either the software route or hardware, you know, rendered based route. So generally speaking, I would always recommend hardware based for two reasons. One, hardware based allows you to do tweaks like increase the native resolution. It allows you to get better, you know, quality so it's essentially textures and um, because you can sharpen things up etc etc and the other thing is <clears throat> hardware runs generally better as well so the thing with software is basically emulating the exact software that the ps2 was hardware is obviously going by your hardware and that's obviously not the same the thing with crash bandicoot raffle cortex it has a few bugs as of now on the pcsx to emulate if you go the hardware route it's a glitchy overlay and like fog and water effects are sort of broken especially in dark scenes i've read that uh, these problems can really uh, be bad so i've got it in software mode and i'll show you how it runs obviously the thing is it's at native res i can't up the res and that's the reason i personally prefer to go hardware mode because overall i find it's fine and if there's any part of the game that let's say it's a bit too broken or a bit too glitchy for me to enjoy or play it i'll switch to software because software works at 60 and hardware works at 60 frames per second so you're all good to go either way so because i played some games and hardware is fine uh, 60 but then it's got certain glitches to it if you go down the hardware route but then if you switch to software you gain like 30 40 frames per second so you're not getting a smooth experience anymore and it's slow so at least with this you can play it either way it's totally up to you so this is software and i'll play a couple of minutes like this as you can i mean you may or may not be able to tell as, so as you can see uh, the UI everything's working fine I means running okay again you're gonna get the odd occasional frame drop here and there but overall it's gonna be a good experience in software and uh, obviously it's not looking as sharp as if you were to do hardware like I switch off like I mean like I switch I mean like I said I'll switch to hardware in a second when I'm playing this game as a kid I mean, it wasn't quite Crash Bandicoot, the original trilogy on PS1, but, I mean, it wasn't bad either. I still think the gameplay, I mean, the controls were a lot tighter and smoother feeling on the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy than they were on this. It's a bit too, a bit too heavy. I think that was kind of a thing in PS2 games in general. A very heavy feeling. I think part of it was the hardware. I mean, but they were getting 60 frames a second most of the time on this game, to be fair. So it wasn't even like some sort of kill zone issue or black issue. Let me know in the comments what Steam games or what games you are playing on your Steam Deck. Because, uh, I mean, this is a sort of great little system to play, you know, old PC games. Even new ones, obviously, if you tone down the graphics. And which, therefore, they don't look so bad. And... Ooh, got some more lives. But as you can see, in software, it's running pretty darn good to be fair. And I'm going to switch to hardware in a second, so you can actually see, obviously, on the same level in hardware. So I'm going to switch to hardware now. And I'm going to do a save state as well while I'm here. So, switching to hardware, uh, it's pretty simple. You're just going to config, graphics setting, and, and this is where you switch to software as well, by the way. So the render rate is plus software. If I go to... Vulcan now, that's the recommended one. Make sure adapter is RADV. 
and then obviously just do the same settings as I did in the PCSX2 setup video. So you can do like 2, 2x native, you can go beyond that, but 2x native is fine for this resolution and screen size, and it still runs really smooth. Okay, so if I just click, okay, if at any point in the game, it's a little tip, you get, you know, the frame rate's a little too low on hardware, then just put texture preload into full uh, cache, and then you should be all good to go. Let me just click escape, there we go. You probably can tell that the it's already looking a lot sharper. It's looking up. You know what it looks like when developers are a bit late and, and they do like a like a oh a remaster or a HD release and this makes you of what they end up looking like just with trophy support. It's kinda of insane when you think about it. Did I have an Akuraku then? That was gonna be one of the things I was about to ask. Can I get an Akuraku? Um, I don't wanna go here. Was this, was this basically like a trick? Was it like a trick route? He's like, oh, come here, I am. I mean, I forgot all about it. Come here, it's really hard to go this way because there's loads of nitro boxes and, you know, we're going to give you a gem. But no, no gem. No special color gem. It was literally just nothing. Oh, I remember the last time I played this game, which wasn't that long ago. I played it on, I can't remember what that portable system that I've got is. With a bit of a disappointment, if I'm being honest. I kept missing one box, I've got, got all the boxes this time. Okay, fantastic. So now that we've done that level, I'll play one more level and it'll be a more conventional Crash Bandicoot level where you know you're running around instead of rolling around. But as you can see, it runs great. Software runs fine. Like I said, if you can get over the fog, water, and UI glitches and they don't bother you, then use hardware base, whacking onto 2x native resolution, basically settings I got in the setup video, link in, in the description for that, and any periods in the game where it's not quite you know, playable in your eyes, you push the software for that level, and then switch back to hardware. That's my recommendation. Now let's try Tornado at least. This is one of the games I'm so glad to see that works really well. Because, <laughs> you know, I love Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot Rapid Cortex, a game that I wanted to play again anyway. And to be able to play it on the go as well. Oh, this is not a normal level. I'm not the first one I've already done it, so I'd rather do something new. I always used to think that you could control, you could control Crash Bandicoot on this loaded screen. I'd be like, oh, I'm pressing right and it's doing it, and then I'm pressing left and uh, I think this goes on its own. <laughs> and if anyone else fought and did that as well. Okay, here you go. As you see, it runs great, looks great, because we've got two x native res. No match. Does he want to just kill him that I flicked at him?
Nope. I need to kill myself, but then I want to lose Aku Aku. Which can't have any nitro crates, so I'm past as well. Come on, let's get through it. So annoying. I need to count down every single one of it, like, that's slow. That's why I need to go like 10. later on when I get that the buster I don't know what the official name what it was Well, at least I got the checkpoint here. I mean, if I think I missed him, then I'll, die. I'll come back for it. Okay, so I don't have the green gem, so I can't go in there. There you go, as you can see Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex works fantastic, we get 60 frames per second, you can go the software based route again to reiterate, that is only recommended if you can't live with the, you know, the water fog and the UI glitches that are present in this game, when you go the hardware based route, but overall recommend the hardware based, maybe switching into software if on a particular level or on a low part of a particular level that you need to and then you just switch back and you can go native res and you get you know smoother frames uh, frame rates as well if you have a request of a game that you would like to see tested or an emulator feel free to put that in the comments and i'll try my best to support that if you want to check out the steam compatibility list link in the description where you can see the best settings for every single you know game that i'm trying and you know links to a 60 fps patches if there's any this one you didn't need a fps patch because you already runs at 60 from the developer side when they made it and if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye